if you go shopping for something, if you flash some cash, they're going to give you a deal because they want money in hand mm -hmm. right away. Um, credit, there, there are fees that are going to be taken out, so they're not going to get as much as they would get normally if you've got this cash in hand. Mm -hmm. So your buying power is, is greater, greater when, you have, when cash. you have Understanding your cash flow is one of the most important things that you can do as an independent contractor. In my industry and in my field for 17 years, I had to learn the hard way. And one of the things that I did was sit down with a specialist. That person for me was Bobby Grant. And today we're going to talk about 10 budgeting tips for independent contractors. All right, so our tip number nine out of the top 10 budgeting tips for independent contractors, paying off your debts. Yes. That's huge. Yes. It's huge, you know, why? You are a slave to the lender, <laughs> right? I mean, about think that. about that. Yep. You you owe, you have to go to work. Mm -hmm. The more you owe, the more you have to work. Right. Because you got to pay off that debt. Right, right. And I'm sure it just keeps going. You know, you, you, you have that debt, you want something, you wanted something, you didn't plan for it, right. and you just bought it. Because you felt like you needed impulse, impulse mm -hmm. buying it. Or you know what, maybe you did need it. Maybe you did need something, but you didn't plan for it. Was it right. a piece of equipment, whether it was a root canal, like you yeah, like to say. Right. All right. And, but you didn't plan for it. Now you have this debt on top of another debt on top of another debt. So and not only do you have that debt, you have the interest that goes along with that debt. Right, it right. Didn't, it wasn't just a $100 item, and now it's a two or a $500 debt that mm -hmm. you owe. Mm -hmm. Right. So how do you begin to pay that off? Oh, you do a debt snowball. What's, give it to me. Come on, what's, okay. it, what's a debt uh, snowball? Yeah. So <laughs> say, you have, um, say you have five, <clears throat> five um, debts mm -hmm. that you have out there. Okay. So you want to organize them in the smallest debt to the largest. And you want to focus on paying off that smallest debt first. A lot of people want to just pay off that big one, but you want to, you want to get that little one paid off first. Okay. Say you pay $25 on that little one. Mm -hmm. Once you get it paid off, you take that $25 and put it towards your next debt. So, so you, are you saying not pay, you're not paying the other debts at that pay time? Pay them all. You're keep, paying keep all paying of them. paying the minimum, okay. right? But any extra money you have, put towards that first one. Once you get it paid off, take what you would be putting towards that every month, now put it towards that second one on top of the regular monthly payment. Okay. Once you get that one done, then you hit the next right. one. Right. So if all of your minimums are twenty-five dollars, mm -hmm. right? You may in that first one, you pay, you're paying a little more over the minimum. Right. You may be paying thirty-five or whatever you can right. afford uh -huh. to pay, or and taking some of that per diem or whatever that extra right. money. You're paying that toward paying off that um, that first that smallest debt. Right. Now once that debt is paid, you were paying twenty-five on the second debt. But now you can pay that additional. Now you're paying 50. 50. Right, okay. And so now, once you get that paid off, now you're paying 75. Right. Wow, okay. And then it just keeps going. And then Snowballs. you're paying 100 or whatever because you're constantly, you've budgeted for those debts and those bills. That's it. And once one is paid off, you're rolling those funds over into that next debt. Right. That makes complete sense. Yes. Wow. I never thought Pretty of it like simple. that. Yeah. Pretty simple. And you're, it's, it all goes back to that planning and the budgeting. Mm -hmm. And why it's important and being comfortable with right. it. You're not, like, like we were talking about, you're not confined by the budget. Right. The budget is helping to set you free. Right. So wow. once you get these debts paid off, you don't have to work as hard. Mm -hmm. Right. Or take as many jobs and, or, 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 or feel anxious, worried. Why isn't this company calling me? Why isn't the scheduling department right. calling me? You know, you, you can feel more relaxed, feel more free. You can think about long-term planning. You can think about the times that you're gonna spend with your family and you have the finances for it. Right. Or if you wanna just sit still and not yes, do and anything. Yes, and not do anything. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Nice, Yeah. nice. All right, so now we're gonna transition into tip number 10. We're all on this journey together, just at different places. And our desire and our mission at Clemco AV is to help you to project the best image possible. Like these videos, subscribe to these videos, and you will be informed whenever we put something new out. Thanks again.